Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Let me share some photos. Thank you, everybody, for sharing your uh, congratulation messages, as well as photos. And also thank you for Sunan, my former lab manager and Amaralis, my current manager, for putting this together. And Judy, probably we've been bugging her for at least open times, 10 times a day. Um, and she always put uh, her smile on and uh, help us uh, unstuck whatever issue we have. And as Ray said, she's always there and uh, help uh, and provide assistance and support. Uh, we could do a lot of things that we do thanks to her being there and uh, willing to support, support us. So let me play this, uh, see if uh, we can make the thing work. So I do, when I do the full screen, I probably don't see everybody. <laughs> you can throw in any uh, messages. You can turn on your uh, speaker and to move forward. Uh, An image from one of your birthday. <laughs> Some of the quotes from your
this is it and we'll share a copy with Judy. Thanks everybody for uh, helping with this uh, presentation. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, appreciate it. That was a wonderful uh, video, Shannon and, and company. Uh, thank <laughs> it was fun working on it. I bet uh, we can dig up more and more photos. Uh, so I'm uh, looking forward to maybe yeah, contributing more to this collection. Ray, this is Kirk. Um, I'll take my turn to say some nice things about uh, Judy. Um, I've been here 16 years and Judy has been essentially by my side the whole time. Uh, we've survived moves from the administration building to uh, a building over with uh, the computer folks. Uh, we've never been in Langford, uh, but uh, Judy managed all of our moves. Um, I served with her as a, a faculty fellow, uh, and I spent time as associate director. I spent two cycles of interim director. And without what Judy was able to do for me, uh, the center would not have survived those transitions. Um, she's been a spectacular uh, gift to us. Uh, and as, George, as Jorge said, uh, we all have a debt to uh, Judy. Um, I know I can never repay uh, my debt. Uh, it's uh, so large. Um, and I can't imagine that George will ever be able to repay his debt. She has worked for George almost as a, a personal secretary for uh, so many years, uh, in addition to everything she does uh, for the rest of us. Um, what has always uh, been special is that uh, while she's been efficient and effective in everything that is the normal day to day, um, Judy has excelled at dealing with the uh, non-ordinary things. The time when she would load up a, a rolling cart and drag uh, drinks around the campus, or when she would order uh, pizzas for students, or when she would uh, stay long after the, the work day was supposed to be over, or when she came in on the weekends uh, to deal with our special events, when she uh, managed the process for our uh, Hayek firms and others to uh, come to campus and spend some time with a minimum of disruption and, and strangeness. Her ability to organize parking and everything else has just simply been extraordinary. Uh, so I, um, I thank you, Judy, for everything you've done for me personally. It's been fabulous and I wish you the very best going forward. Thank so. you. So if I can chime in, I will add two things as well. First, I want to say, Judy, you have been a real boss of our center. I feel like all, with all due respect to, and no offense to Ray as the current director, Kirk as the previous interim, and Marielle as the previous director, you manage us. Like, I feel like we are a bunch of kids, like always swamped, trying to catch up, like, dealing with crisis and you are the one who take care of us and manage us. So thank you, we really appreciate that. And the second, uh, some fun things about Judy. I wanted to mention she's a motorbike girl, but model stole my line. But I also remember Judy as a dragon lady in a way. <laughs> I, I remember the fun experience story we had together. I know we learned you loved dragon and Japan and I because my hometown was well known for the wood carving uh -huh. craftsmanship. So we when we went back to China, we found a dragon wood carving sculpture, a small set for you. Yes. But when we arrived back, I was so devastated because that was a crack. Mm. when we were moving it around, etc. But it's kind of fun story we had together. I hope you still have it somewhere. And oh, it's oh. just like, so you to me is also a motorbike lady and a dragon lady. <laughs> <laughs> if I can interrupt a second, mm -hmm. I am Cecilia. I am not from the Center for Health, but I work with uh, Judy because she was the representative in the diversity camp. Council. So she has used more hats than just the health center. And I want to acknowledge that it was 
wonderful working with you, Judy. You brought a new perspective to the council. You were always willing to help others as you did in the center. So just wanted to let you know from the diversity council, we wanted to say thank you to you and well and good luck in your new life. Well, and thank you for letting me be part. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> If, if I can jump in for a quick second, uh, Judy, I just want to thank you personally and on behalf of uh, Shay and all of our officers, you've done so much for our organization and organizing meetings and getting paperwork done and travel forms. And on a personal note, I mean, I've been here since 2014 and uh, I've had the opportunity to work for you as well uh, here at the center with Ray and uh, you, you just, it's been a great honor just getting to know you more personally and as a colleague and just seeing all the, the beautiful notes and drawings that all the students uh, leave for you on your desk. Uh, when I was uh, covering your desk uh, last semester when you were getting your surgery, yeah. um, it was very heartwarming. And, and I can say with confidence that the students absolutely do love and respect you. And um, I think uh, from a work perspective though, um, you, you're wonderful to work with. And I, I can remember one of the, the more funny memories that I have is uh, when uh, I was working last semester in the office uh, I didn't, it just, I don't know if it happened by chance or if you knew it was going to happen, but uh, I had about five minutes before my, uh, my committee meeting, my committee review meeting, and um, I decided to leave my office and go to the restroom real quick, but I realized I locked myself out of my office, and I don't know if it was by chance or if you knew that I was going to lock myself out of my office, but you left a spare key in your desk for me, so I really appreciate that. You really saved me. <laughs> so thank you. I wish you nothing but the best and a wonderful retirement. Thank you. Thanks. And I, I received some flowers this morning from Shay. They're yeah. very pretty. You're welcome. Very nice. Thank y'all. Anyone else care to jump in with a word for Judy? I'll jump in quick. Judy, it's been a delight to know you um, as the outside member of the uh, steering committee for the uh, center. It's been quite a, quite impressive, and I, I I am so impressed by your ability to handle George Mann uh, on a regular <laughs> his stories, and you always have this wonderful demeanor and just smile about him. And I'm sure you've heard the story of him losing his or having his underwear stolen in Germany 35 times. You always smile and and uh, get along with him. So I appreciate your, your your attitude, your candor, and all the work that you've done for the center. Thank you, Jay. And would you please straighten that picture hanging behind you? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who else has something to share? Anyone on a call? I shared a few words with the uh, photos, but I just want to say uh, one more time for um, uh, thanks for always being there for us. And uh, I just cannot say enough during the past uh, 17 years of my career, kind of goes along with Judy's right? <laughs> uh, 16 year uh, center life. But I felt like I've been always, uh, you've been always there. Uh, for us and for many of us around here and anywhere from getting things done, fixing things up and really helping with our research for some of the really challenging tasks like Wei mentioned to little things and getting paperwork done and uh, all those really made a huge difference in uh, making things work and you know, get us moving forward. So um, I just can, can I find the right words and proper words to, to, uh, to kind of say this fairly to you and, um, and, and my team members, everybody, you know, uh, been bugging you multiple times and you always were willing and figure things out, something that can uh, fix our issues and help us sometimes reading papers for us and reviewing our research protocols. We're doing some uh, research on right uh, eye tracking. You were willing to help us out by testing it out. So her role, I think, uh, goes way beyond someone as the uh, staff of the center. 
And um, I really have to say, uh, I'm just one of the many who benefit from your attitude and commitment and support. So um, I'm, I'm so, uh, I feel bad I'm not as eloquent and <laughs> really properly capturing my appreciation, uh, but I hope you know it. I, I just felt like we had, uh, we should have had more personal gatherings. I still remember many years ago uh, in the Thanksgiving uh, gathering in my place and a few other personal uh, chats and, uh, and um, in your hospital bed and sometimes uh, open times just uh, right at the, uh, in front of your, you know, your table, I would kind of approach you and we'll chat about things and little things like that. I made a huge difference and um, hope uh, we still continue in touch and uh, Giving, sending you lots of love <laughs> your yeah. way and um, uh, best wishes to yeah uh, to your ch next chapter in your life. Well, thank you very much. We'll miss you. Well, I'll miss all of y'all, but I am looking forward to this next phase. <laughs> Judy, yes. will um, they have to close the center when you leave? I don't know. You'll have to talk to them. <laughs> no, I think Cynthia can pull it up. She'll she'll do fine. Is is George gonna know how to keep his head on straight though without you by his side? Well, we live in the same apartment complex, so he knows how to find me. Uh before I hand uh before I hand the microphone to George to talk about the speaker series for the spring. Let me take just a moment to introduce someone to the group gathered here. Cynthia Lockledge is our new uh, admin person. Uh, and I'm, I'm really very impressed uh, with her, not just her professional performance, but uh, imagine sitting through an hour of people going on and on and on about how wonderful uh, the person who sat in your chair was for the last 16 years and thinking, oh my gosh, what am I, what am I following? But I can just tell you, you're in for a treat. Cynthia is a delight. Uh, she came up the on-ramp and hit freeway speed and has never missed a beat. She's jumped right into things. Judy and Cynthia are working side by side now for a brief time uh, to make sure the handoff is complete. But Cynthia, uh, you're not currently on the screen grouping in front of me, uh, but uh, wherever you are, wave and let everybody get a good look at you. Uh, we are really excited about working with Cynthia going forward, and I think Judy has left things in great shape. Now, I've got to watch the clock because George is supposed to get the microphone at 1240. George, it is 1240, and you've got it for the next 10 minutes. Go. Um, Ray, I was just thinking, uh, you know, all that everybody has, maybe we could just I'm doing 180 degrees on you. Maybe we could just continue with Judy and they will get everything electronically. I, I you know, it, uh, uh, this has been going so well and I hope, I hope the group ag agrees. They're gonna hear enough from me for the rest of the semester. And uh, <laughs> I have that request, canceling the other request. <laughs> Noted. And thanks, George. Um, I'm going to reserve the last few minutes of this first hour for uh, two things that are on the agenda, but we've got between now and 12.50 uh, for others to share reminiscences. Uh, anyone care to offer a kind word for Judy? Hi, Judy. I'll this speak is Chip. Up and... Yeah, okay. I'm Chip, you got it. Oh, hey. hey sorry. I, didn't I, just wanted to, you. <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for everything that you did for the center when I was there. Everything you did personally for, for me, getting, getting stuff put together, but just for everything that you've done for the college and for the center over the years, because it's, it's definitely going to 
gonna be missed. You are <laughs> definitely going to be missed. So thank you. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Bill? Yeah, uh, Judy, I just want to thank you so much for the last Good couple time. of years. I, I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't have the privilege of working with you for 16. Because um, it's been the last couple have been great. You've been wonderful to work in. You, they drop me in your lap and say, here, look after this guy. And you did with great <laughs> grace and determination and, and, and forbearance. Um, and, and to me, that, that just has made the last couple of years really rewarding for me and being here at, what, at this great university. So um, carry on and with, the, with your retirement, enjoy every single day of it. You've earned it and uh, going to miss you a lot. Oh, I'm going to miss y'all too. Joe, Joe would like to say something else. Joe Sprick. Okay. Uh, Judy, um, uh, I have a, a question to ask you. I know a lot of us have had some things to say about you, but I would very much value your opinion with, uh, as Ray reminds me, of 16 years of, of work, very hard work and very successful work. On any recommendations that you may have that you've seen or heard from either individuals involved in, in, in the center or, or people who, who, you know, have observed um, what the center's doing as to how we, we might be able to either uh, focus more clearly on, on important topics uh, that may be uh, more effective to get the word out there. Or, or, or more importantly, the, the brand of, of, of what we all stand for, for the architecture for health and, and, and what we can do uh, to affect, you know, the industry in that regard. If anything comes to mind, and I, I think Cynthia might also, and I have never not had the pleasure of meeting Cynthia, but I'm looking much forward to having her involved, uh, you know, going forward. But is there any pieces of information or advice that you might offer to us? Well, the only thing I can really see is that we need to make more opportunities for collaboration between the firms and the center and get the students involved. And that would be my that would be my advice, I guess you would call it. Yeah. How, how do we get along well with George? <laughs> <laughs> Sit back. Um, I didn't say it again. I didn't get it. Uh, it's better for you not hearing that. <laughs> uh, I think that would be a whole other meeting. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> George, uh, Zipong wanted to know if Judy could share any insights about the best ways to get along with you. <laughs> I'm over the hill. You don't have to worry. <laughs> Anyone else to share? This is Naomi. I put something in the chat, but um, Judy, I just, I'm so happy for you. You have helped the center and all of us and you can see we're like all your little children here and <laughs> you have been you have been so patient <laughs> and good natured with all that everyone throws at you all the time and you have earned a great great retirement and thank I'm you sure I, I look forward to seeing you on Facebook and seeing all the, the wonderful ways that you're going to relax and have fun and enjoy your retirement. So Thank you very you. much. <laughs> Who else would share? Uh, I would like to share something uh, with Judy. I really want to say thank you to Judy. And Judy is a very special person. And I came to NEM in 2016. I still remember that about uh, 
in 2017, our center received a generous funding for, to, to support students to attend the PDC meeting in Phoenix. And Judy tried her best to reserve flights and book the rock gym and do all the things to make, make it possible for the student to attend the PDC conference. And it turns out the conference is a great one. And I heard about that uh, one student found an internship and another one, another one student found a job through the conference, through the connection they made in the conference. So I really want to say thank you to Judy. And I think Judy is the example of one good act can change the world. <laughs> thank you, Hal. Thanks, Hal. Anyone else? Some of you may not know uh, that Naomi Sachs received her PhD from us and then went up, wrote a book, which is outstanding on healing gardens. I don't know the exact title, but I've looked at your book and uh, is at Cornell now. Aren't you at Cornell Do, or aren't you with Mardell? I was at Cornell as a postdoc for two years, and now I'm an assistant professor at University of Maryland. Yes, I'm sorry. No, that's great. Gotcha. And, and I still work with Kirk and Howe, see them every week for, um, I'm co-editor of her journal. And uh, so I'm still very much connected with the center and a and m And I'm looking forward to seeing all of you at the next conference, hopefully in the fall. Uh, I, I, it is, there is something, Naomi, thank you. There is something that did occur to me that Luis uh, and Cynthia have done for the first time on the lecture series, uh, which is on Fridays. But if, when you get that electronic copy, you can um, uh, blink on it. What's the right term, Luis? Uh, oh, uh, the, the Zoom links are embedded into the meeting times of each lecture. Yeah, so they're like you, right, and and there are two, there are two meetings that are on Friday because Texas A&M is the only one who could turn a Thursday into Friday. Uh, so be careful; those two have their own Zoom links. And I'd like to thank Luis, Garibay, uh, <clears throat> and Cynthia for all the help, and uh, Jay Maddock, and Ray Pentecost. Uh, and Joe Sprague and Ron Skaggs had another meeting. He was here earlier to say um, congratulations and thanks to Judy. So uh, uh, that's very helpful. And that it, uh, enables you to forward that lecture series to your own students at the University of Maryland or wherever you are, or uh, Zipang has a whole following with all the students in China. And uh, uh, we really appreciate that it went through a lot of gyrations uh, and Luis did everything with a smile and thank you, Luis. And I hope you all have these. If you don't have one, uh, they should be on their way to you one way or another. Uh, send me an email. Thank you, George. Uh, I'm going to, to jump in and uh, take my opportunity to remember uh, my time with Judy. I, I do think maybe perspective is valuable at a time like this. Judy arrived to the center roughly in 2004, and she had already been at A&M for four years. So you can do the math. Her 16 years with the center brought her to 20 years at Texas A&M. The center had had someone for a short time and that was not working out. And Judy joined roughly in 2004 uh, and took the position that no one else had in the ensuing 16 years. She took over and made it hers. She set up the office, set up the filing, uh, took on new responsibilities as the center grew. 
And we're going to talk just a bit about those responsibilities in a, a moment. But as far as this perspective thing, it's 20 years at AM, 16 with the center. Uh, Facebook launched the same year that Judy joined the center. I'm not suggesting they were connected, but Facebook got started that same year. YouTube launched when Judy had already been at the center for a year. Twitter launched. Judy had already been at the center for two years. The iPhone was introduced. Judy had already been at the Center for Health Systems and Design for three years. The Institute for Healthcare Improvement published and began to advocate its triple aim to our industry. When they did that, Judy had already been at the Center for three years. The Her Journal launched in 2007. Judy had already been here for three years. The Affordable Care Act was passed in 2010. Judy had been here for six years already. Judy, this next one's especially for you. IBM Watson beat Ken Jennings on Jeopardy and you had already been here for six years. Yeah. You, you got to remember that moment. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when I arrived at the center, Judy had already been here for 12 years. What a platform, what a legacy you were in the midst of creating and what a tremendous launch pad was handed to me in all the hard work you had been doing for 12 years to position the center for me to step in and have more fun than I've ever had doing anything else. And much of that has been because I got to work with you. Now I got a chance to kind of do the retrospective thing when uh, over the summer we submitted Judy for the Linda Todd Award. And since all of this was included in the submission, it's public, but not to do too much information, not to betray anything that's inappropriate. I'm going to just hit highlights with you. Just reviewing the time that Judy has been at the center when I was there, just reviewing these last four or five years, uh, during those years, four inpatient hospitalizations, three of them requiring surgery, a broken ankle that put her in a walking boot and confined her to that for over a year. She had, and many of you don't know this because it wasn't an event, but for quite some time, for years, Judy came to work suffering near crippling pain in her hands, almost impossible to even type. She had pain in her hip, shoulder, made it difficult for her to even get around. These are highlights. This is not the, the full list. Of course, most recently, we all know uh, she broke her leg. And that's why the year ended with Judy not physically present at the center for us to celebrate at that time. Now, bearing all of that in mind, I was also able to write in the recommendation letter, she was always pleasant, always smiling, always excited about being a part of something that she and we believe has the potential to change the very practice of architecture anywhere in the world. She has consistently put forward to the students, faculty, and practitioners with whom she routinely works, 
a very professional face. As hard as it is to be consistently professional in a workplace, to do so with all of the personal health challenges Judy has had to overcome is remarkable. And most of us, many of us for sure know that Judy was the 2020 recipient of the Linda Todd Award for the top administrative staff person in the college and much deserved. 16 years with the center. She says her proudest achievements or proudest memories are working with the students. Now she hastily followed that comment by saying, you know, if I were to travel in China, anywhere I go, I've got three or four places to stay. So I'm confident that as that was unfolding, her ministry to the students was real, but it's true. You've got retirement now and places to stay all over China. I hope you can have some fun with that. You know, when we put together Judy's award package for Linda Todd, just for fun, we made a list of the stuff that she was responsible for. Cynthia, best wishes to you. But we put that list together and identified, we itemized 84 things that Judy is responsible for. And I can say that confidently knowing that we missed some. All of that to say, the wheels on this bus went round and round because Judy kept them where they needed to be and made sure that they worked. Judy, can't thank you enough. Love you, have always enjoyed working with you. Wish you the best retirement ever and hope you can enjoy it in good health from this day forward. And uh, as I let you know, this is your opportunity to say a word to us uh, before we send you off with well wishes. Well, I just wanna say that, <clears throat> excuse me, it's been my privilege to work with all of you. I've enjoyed it every minute of it. I've always loved this job since I've had it. And I couldn't have been happier with any other job. And it was just so nice to be able to work with all of you and get to know you. And I appreciate the friends I've made and those that I will continue to make. And if I can just get well, I'll enjoy my retirement. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know, um as everybody was talking and I'm going back in my own mind, uh, I, I came up with one word in my mind that summarizes you, Judy, and that's you're an angel from above. And uh, uh, in all the ways, the love that you showed everybody is so reflective in this conversation. Everybody, you touched everyone and uh, you gave us a reason for being and uh, both in tough times and in good times. So, uh, but you are an angel and uh, God bless you. Well, thank you. I'm sure there's others that wouldn't agree. <laughs> I can't think of anybody. <laughs> well, dealing with George makes you also a saint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well said. <laughs> That's great. Thank you, Jorge. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? Just want to say one last thing from the college perspective. You know, they say once an Aggie, always an Aggie. Once you're part of the College of Architecture family, you will always be part of the family. So the doors will always be welcome. You and uh, we're not going anywhere and you will always be part of us. Thank, Thank you, Corey. <laughs> yeah. Now, earlier I invited others who wanted to share something with Judy to do so. We've concluded our first hour. Uh, we have more time set aside if we need it. Uh, if everyone has said what is on their heart and in their mind, then we don't need to keep this uh, link open. But if there are others who would like to share a message with Judy, uh, you are welcome to do so.
Well, I'm hearing nothing. <laughs> I am seeing a lot of chats, people typing uh, best wishes to Judy. Uh, so Cynthia, I'm going to suggest maybe that the link and George, if you're the host, this falls to you. Uh, why don't we uh, sort of allow everyone to excuse themselves if they have other things that they need to do and uh, just leave the link open if people want to stay on and leave a message. Uh, Cynthia, can we make that work? Will that happen okay? I think so. <laughs> okay. You should be able to leave the Zoom open. Okay, super. Well, to everybody that set the time aside and made an effort to be here with us today and to celebrate Judy, thank you so much. Uh, we all run at a frenetic pace and uh, to set a time aside and celebrate someone's contribution to our lives and to our work uh, is always a special occasion. Thank you for making it special by your presence and by your comments uh, and have a wonderful semester that which is before us and please enjoy good health. Judy, we love you. Thanks so much for being a part of our lives. And, uh, we wish you every success and health in retirement. Been my pleasure. <laughs> Let's give Judy a round of applause. <laughs> yeah. so, George, George, you would, would like, would you like to say a few words for next week's lecture? Oh yeah. Um, uh, first of all, I'm glad the students in my studio had a chance to touch uh, the Center for Health Systems and Design. Next week, we're going to have a keynote speaker, Dr. John August, who's the Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine, Biological Sciences. And we're hoping that Dean Venegas will be introducing him. And uh, he will give another perspective on health, which I think you can appreciate the, um, the danger we're in, in this delicate balance. And he's gonna talk about the One Health concept in the animal world. Um, he's a very interesting man. And uh, again, I wanna thank Jay Maddock and Ray and Cynthia for all the, uh, in addition to Luis, for all the hard work on the lecture series, which you can read about. And uh, Today I found very inspiring hearing so many perspectives on Judy in addition to my own. And so uh, I think Judy's made a difference, a big difference in the way she embraced the students and also the way she embraced students who came from other parts of the world that it was so strange college station. You know, I'm still adjusting and it's 54 years I can't imagine <laughs> what it's like. And by the way, <clears throat> the underwear caper, Jay, was in Holland, not Germany, just for the record. <laughs> I had my underwear stolen at the train station. So that story I'll tell you about another time. Uh, so anyhow, uh, stay in touch, Judy, and uh, I can bring you dispatches whenever you want. Okay. Your door. <laughs> from dispatches from the front. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Uh, Cynthia, thank you for all you did in this as everything was changing. I mean she <laughs> That's all right. I like a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, George, uh, whenever you have the pool party, uh, please invite Judy. Okay. <laughs> to go. Hey, guys, it's, uh, I set a record. It's been about 12 months since I went swimming. And a guy who swam about three or four times a week. Yeah. My gills are drying up. I'm going to blow away. So I look forward to the pool party. Yeah, you have Wait, had you're not it. making your kids do pool floats anymore, George? Nicole Hoffman, I just reckon. Well, you got this funny new last name. Uh, I do. <laughs> I said to myself, 
She looks like Nicole Hoffman, but it's Nicole. You stuck with the H. Congratulations. I did. You have Thank kids? You. Two, two girls. Wow. You were in the Texas A&M Health Science Center project, right? Was yeah. that 05? Say that again. 2005? Yeah. And where are you working? You're at Page now. I think I knew that. Yeah. But I, you know, that last name just threw me off. You, should, you gals ought to keep your name and just add on. <laughs> Nicole Hoffman, Mark Reader. <laughs> Nicole, are you, are you in Too long for the Zumba. Or Houston? I'm in the Austin office. Oh, Austin, OK. Oh, it's so great to see you, Nicole. I remember all your green on your uh, health science center. <laughs> <laughs> you don't forget anything, George. I forget my name is Frank, and <laughs> I just put Joe down. I'm sorry, Joe. Joe's sticking with us right to the end. <laughs> and, my pleasure. Yeah, it was a very uplifting day, and uh, uh, I hope whatever you do, guys, just give it the love like you heard about Judy and uh, Jody. I the, think the fact that you had 75 people on the call, Judy, I think that shows how many people love you and care about yes, you. Yes, it does. I want to wish you the best. So. I appreciate it from everybody. <laughs> Makes me feel good. <laughs> I'm happy to see all of you, Kendall, Shah, and uh, and Nicole, and Bill I. Bill, Bill's been helping me on a lot of things. Well, we, we're going to have fun this year. I just want to get back in the pool before I blow away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to say? No, I, you know, uh, it, I, I know where you are, uh, where your apartment is. So I, I probably know where Judy living. So <laughs> <laughs> next time we are going <laughs> to. We like each other, but not, she's not living in this apartment. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not living in hers. Yeah. Uh, so it's good to, uh, you know, living in an apartment, not taking care of the lawn, that kind of things. Well, like, you, you know what? I grew up in an apartment. I, I like people around me. And uh, I, I think if I had a trillion dollars, I wouldn't have a house looking like on a plantation, you know, with 10 acres. <laughs> I think it drive me nuts. <laughs> okay. I guess we're going to wind it up. Uh, Nicole? Hi, George. Hi. I, I just got, um, Luis sent me the list for your meeting, so maybe I can jump on a couple of those here. Yeah, OK. Do, do, did you send me a message as to do that, or an email? Uh, Luis, Luis sent me the PDF, but I might see if I can, I'll contact you, George, directly. OK, and, and send it around to your people at Page, OK? Uh, Robert Doan is a speaker in April, I believe. Okay. I, Thanks, George. I bye. was looking. Bye, Nico. I was looking for uh, Judy's uh, picture last night and then just found that uh, the last time we had the face to face center XCOM meeting was the, almost one year ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, Judy's uh, birthday, or you know, maybe a couple after that. So, yeah. And and the last time I went swimming, I took my class to water aerobics, and they had such a great time. But that was just about a year ago this week. Mm -hmm. uh, they couldn't believe that I would go to water aerobics with them, but I did. All right, I'm going to have to break. Judy, thank you for everything. Okay, George, I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. Ray. Thank you. Thank you, George. Bye. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Judy.